everyone. I have a toned arm and abs workout for you today. It's gonna to be 30 minutes of work, not counting our warm up, our rest, and our cool down at the end. So grab a pair of light set of dumbbells. I'm talking three to five pounds. You don't need much, but every single exercise we're going to be performing today, you will be ha holding those light set of dumbbells. So we're really gonna to tone those arms and also work our abs at the same time. Here's what it's gonna look like. We have three circuits. The first two are 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, four exercises for three rounds. And the last one is only 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, three exercises for three rounds. Like I said, grab your light set of dumbbells. If you wanna have um, a variety, you can as well. Um, I will be using threes today. All right, if you're sticking with me, let's get started with a warm up right here on the mat. Let's start with trunk stretches. Go ahead and start taking those arms over the side of your body. Now they're just going to come in front of our body, crossing over and under each other. Right now, we're just going to do some arm circles, swimming backwards. Reverse the circle. All right, now let's come to the end of your mat. We're gonna just slowly roll it down, walk out into your plank position. Give me two shoulder taps here, and then walk back up to standing. Engage the core. Alright, now you have the option to come out here, do a push up, drop to your knees. Just a couple more. One more. Now when you're up here this time, go into your downward dog. Back to plank, downward dog. Back to plank, downward dog. Back to plank. All right, and walk it right back up for your final time. We're just gonna end it with some, uh, I don't know what to call these, but just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more. Okay, your arms feel good, warmed up. Roll them around some more if you'd like. Grab some water, sorry. And um, I will run through these first four exercises of our first circuit. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be using my threes 
this entire time. And um, trust me, you won't need, if you don't have light weights either, you can do these without weights. Um, you will feel the burn no matter what. Okay, first thing we're gonna do to combine our arms and abs is a V sit with a single arm um, chest fly. So your V sit position is either up like this, toes, toes pointed, that's very difficult, or um, knees bent around like 90 degrees like this. You're gonna have your dumbbells together, and one at a time, you're gonna take one back, together, out, together. You notice I'm wobbling a lot. It's a very good stabilizing workout. You're really gonna to have to go slow to try to keep yourself still and centered. It's gonna work both your arms and your abs. Second move, bent over, alternating shoulder presses. So you're just gonna stand up with these weights, bend over a little bit, stick your butt out. You're gonna have your weights up here, arms by your ears, arms back like this. And you're gonna just press one at a time, straight out in front of you, work your shoulders. And then we're gonna come back down to the mat. We're gonna do plank up downs with alternating arm raises. So put your weights in between you. You're gonna go down on your elbows, up, raise one, then raise the other, down, back up, raise one, then raise the other. Again, you're working your upper abs and your plank and raising those arms, um, working your shoulders and your abs. Okay, star crunches are your final move for this circuit. So you're on your back with your weights and you're gonna take one arm to the opposite toe, touch at the top, Get your back off the ground, back down, other foot, other arm. A uh, modification for this, you just raise your foot up and do an opposite toe touch reach so your back isn't coming completely off the ground. And those are your four moves for your first circuit. Again, 45 seconds of work, only 15 seconds of rest. Three rounds, I'm gonna get the timer started and then we're gonna get started with those V-sit single arm chest presses, oh, chest flies. All right, so we're down on the mat and we are gonna start with those in your V-sit. Ready, go. So this doesn't have to be fast. Just take one arm back, meeting in the center, then take the other arm back, meeting in the center. wobbling and shaking as normal and good. Breathe. Tuck in those lower abs though. Suck in that belly button. Whew. Keep it going. We only have eight more seconds. Two. One. Rest. Whew. All right. Try to hold on to these weights this entire workout if you can. The next thing we're going to do are those bent over alternating shoulder presses. Weights by your ears, punching out. Ready? Go. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but my arms are already burning. Hi, Ralphie. Modification, you don't have to be bent over. Just come up and do these right here. Standing up. Woo! Ow! Five. Two. One. Press. Ah! Burning! Okay. We're coming down to the mat for plank up downs with those alternating arm raises. Ready? Two, one, go. You can only, uh, you can use one dumbbell if you want as well. You don't have to use both of them. Here, I'm gonna try it without it. Uh, 
less clutter. Woo! stay on your mat because we're going back for our second round here with those v-sit chest flies in three two one remember pull those lower abs in in your reclined position modification for this you can let your feet down right here just in that little reclined position. Still work those arms. We have 10 seconds left. Five. Three. Rest. All right, we are up. Roll those shoulders out. This one is gonna be killer. Ready? Bent over shoulder presses. Stand up and do these. Oh, you're still going to feel them no matter what. Ah, come on. All right, we only have seven more seconds. Ow. Rest. Oh. Woo. Burns. All right, we have our plank up downs with your alternating arm raises next. Three, two, go. nice and wide it'll help you with that base for raising your arms uh, you're about to give out on me rest oh shake them out star crunches on your backs we're going in three Go. Oh. 
Uh, we got eight more seconds. Uh, and rest. Woo! All right. One more round. You can stay on the mat here because the first exercise of our last round is that V-sit. Chest fly. Modification, keep your feet off the ground. I mean, modification feet on the ground. For our last round here, try to lift your feet off if you can. For a little extra advance, and take both arms to one side. We have 10 more seconds, we got it. Five. Rest. Whew. All right. The hardest one's coming up in my opinion. The bent over shoulder presses. Or you can just stay right here. Ready, go. left we got it whoa <laughs> through my way <laughs> uh, rest Whew. okay last round move of this round and then we get a break star crunches lay down we're going in three two one go break here. Whew. Okay. While you're drinking water, rolling out those shoulders, I'll show you the next four moves. My next circuit, it's the same time, um, amount of time here, 45 seconds, 15 seconds of rest. We have the first move is much like our first move of the last circuit. It's 
in a V-sit position again, but you're gonna do an Arnold press this time. So an Arnold press, you start with their palms facing inwards toward you, then you come out for a shoulder press, and then back in, elbows together. You're gonna be doing this from your V-sit position right here. Modification, your legs come down and you're just in a little reclined position right here. Okay, then our next move is a side plank reach through. We've done these before. You're on your elbow on one side. I'm going to start on my left side and you're going to take that opposite arm, reach under. You can look at the mat, gaze good towards the mat, and then you come up, press your palm up, I mean press your weight up to the sky, come back under, palm to the sky. Third move, is the same thing except the other side right here and then your last and final move is a six inch hold with a bicep pulse so you're going to be laying down on your back you're going to have your feet up in a six inch hold position like this so you're working your lower abs and then your arms palms are going to face towards the sky and you're just going to they're going to stay straight with a slight bend in them and you're just going to pulse them little pulses right here near the ground as you're lifting up your legs. All right, those are your four moves. I'm gonna get the timer started. We're gonna start in 10. All right, first move, we're gonna start with that V sit and Arnold press. Ready, three, two, one, go. Again, good stabilizing move here. Really working your core to keep you centered. Keep working it. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Rest. All right, we are going in for that side plank reach through. So I'm gonna start on my left elbow. Right arm has the weight. We're going in three, two, one. Modif modification for this, your lower knee is down on the ground like this. in your obliques. Woo. Shoulders. I love this move. Eight seconds. Three. Rest. All right. We are going to the other side. Going in five seconds. Again, modification, lower knee is on the ground. Ready, go. Core is so tight, keeps you from also right here going back a little bit. Control. Ah, rest. All right. So, last and final move of our first round is that six inch hold with the bicep pose. Pulse. Down on your back. Palms facing up to the sky. Lift your legs and pulse. Here we go. Whew. Pull 
that belly button in tight. Press that lower back to the bottom of the mat. Halfway there. Modification, of course, raise your legs up higher if you need to. It's gonna make it easier. In five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. One round down. We're going into that V sit. Arnold presses next. the first round but now I'm starting to feel these presses in my shoulders. 15 more seconds. We got this. Control. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. And rest. Whew. All right. Let's start on our right side this time for the side plank reach throughs. Opposite side of whatever you started with last time. We're going in three, two, one, go. What are you doing, Ralphie? <laughs> are you killing lizards back there? Woo, the shoulders. Modification, drop that bottom knee. Fifteen seconds, I'm dropping. Woo! Two, one, rest. Woo! All right, other side. All right, we are going in five seconds. Get situated. Go. Fifteen. 
15 seconds to go. Rest. Woo. Okay, going back to the left side, starting it out. Last of these. Ready? Go. seconds of rest three exercises for three rounds so it's going to fly by arm circles are our first move with the weights so these are gonna burn you're just gonna hold the weights right out beside you laterally do your arm circles you can do them forward you can do them backwards you can alternate them do like 15 seconds forward 15 seconds backward whatever you want that's our first move second move is a 90 degree curl to press. So you're gonna have your arms up here, 90 degrees, elbow to shoulder, and you're going to extend your arms straight out, curl them, um, curl them back up to 90 degrees, press straight to the sky, and then back to your 90 degrees, out, in, up, in. Okay, last and final move bent over W presses. So before when we did those bent over regular presses, this is kind of going to be the same thing except the difference of your hand motions. Your palms are going to be facing 
inward towards you, bent over, and you're gonna go out like a Y or a W, whatever you wanna think of. So before we were doing our bent over presses with our palms down like this, now we're keeping them inside and going straight out like a Y or a W. Okay, those are our three moves. Last sip of water, shake out your arms, and we are going to start with those arm circles. Okay, we're starting in eight seconds. Grab those weights. This is the last thing we have to do. Only 30 seconds of work, starting with those arm circles. Go. Breathe. I hear you. We hit halfway. So you can switch up that those arm circles if you want to go backwards now. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. We got 90 degree curl to inverted press. Those are right here. Ready? Going in three, two, one. Extend up. This is your last arm burn out here so really burn it out feel the burn embrace it Woo! don't stop eight seconds five three two one rest Woo! okay we got those bent over w presses modification you can just stay here and do them right from standing up straight. Go. Palms are facing in towards you. Ouch. Ten seconds. Going right into it. We only have 10 seconds of rest. Arm circles. Ready. And go. Oh my gosh. These are way heavier than the first round. You can drop them if you need to. Drop your weights. Just do your arm circles by themselves. 15 seconds. If you want to reverse the circle. Woo! I'm going to have to do this without them. Three pounds have never felt so heavy. Ah! Rest. Woo! Shake them out as best as you can. Going again in five seconds with this 90 degree bicep curls to practice. W presses bent over or from here I'm gonna do them right here. Here. Ah! You're going out kind of at an angle. Two, one, rest. Okay, shake them out quickly. This is our last round. Going in three, two, one, go. Arm circles. Ah! 15 seconds if you want to switch and drop them. Uh, 
Uh, oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. Okay. 90 degree curl the press. Coming up next. Ready? Go. This is our last round of these. Ow. Come on. Halfway there. Boy. Five. Buddy. Last thing we have are those W presses. Ready? 30 seconds and we're done. those arms very well. Some arm swings. Alright, now take one arm, pull it across your body. One more breath. Take it up and over, stretch out your tricep. All right, shake it out, switch arms. Take three more deep breaths here in the nose, out the mouth. One more. Up and over, triceps. Four breaths here as well. All right, hands together, clasp them. Press out, drop your head in between your arms. Rest, stretch them again. Rest, stretch them one more time. Now take your arms behind you, drop over, stretch them out. <laughs> I know, bud. I'll let you inside soon. <laughs> Just what I want. Your hair rubbing up all against me. All right, let's meet down at the mat here. Rocking move, please. Let's do some cat cows. Drop the hips, inhale. <laughs> Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, round the back. This is the cat's favorite position, so they can just go weaving in and out. One more. Come up, curl your toes under, go into your downward dog. Walk it out, pedal it out.
<laughs> Watch out, Rafi. Come into your cobra position and then back into your child's pose. Crawl your arms over to one side, stretch your side body out. Now crawl over to the other side. Take your right arm, thread it under the left and lay down on your right shoulder. Come up, left arm goes under the right. into your sits position and we are just going to do one more little neck stretch do neck rolls to one side reverse the circle Take your right, um, right hand grabs your left wrist, pull on your left arm, and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Now we're going to switch, pull on your right arm, and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Deep breath in, out, in, out, one more, and you're done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it and our little guest star here, Ralphie, the biggest cat known to man, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.